Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. And guys, in this video, we are going to cover three different types of production systems. So these are nothing but the job shop production system, batch production system, and mass production system. So guys, please watch my video till the end, so we'll get a better understanding regarding the production systems. So before going to today's topic, I just request you to please consider subscribing to my educational channel, Ingenious Academy. And guys, please hit the bell icon so you will get instant notifications of my videos. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic of different types of production systems. So guys, basically there are three types of production systems. So these are nothing but the job shop production system, batch production system and mass production system. So in this video, we are going to check out all these three types of production system in detail along with we'll also come compare all these uh, types of production system. So guys, the first one is the job shop production system. In job shop production system, that particular production system consists of a single unit. So that's why, you know, the initial setup cost is very less in job shop production system. As this is there, uh, as this is consists of a single unit, the less number of the job, the less number of the products gets produced over here in this case of job shop production system the quantity of the product generated is very low and as we all know the quantity is somewhat related to your quality as the quantity increases it affects the quality as that of and it also depends upon the type of the production system and the optimization of the production system so uh, guys typically this quantity somewhat affects the quality as the quantity increases the quality gets affected so over here in this case of job shop production system the quantity generated in the end product is very less so that's why we can say that the quality, we get a better quality in job shop production system. So now talking about the manpower, over here in job shop production system, we need high skill labor, which is required over here in job shop, then that of the batch production system and mass production system. In batch and mass production system, we need high end machineries and the optimization is possible in that uh, production systems. But over here in job shop production system, instead of importing the high end machineries we are importing the high skill labors basically that is an added advantage over here in job shop production system which ultimately reduce your cost but over here in job shop production system the product customization is very much possible the product variation is very much possible also you can maintain the flexibility in job shop production systems the type of layout is uh, is the combination layout or else you know the fixed uh, position layout is adapted for this type of production systems also guys over here in this case the material handling is uh, you know it is uh, very much on very much easier than that of the batch production and the mass production system uh, this is uh, like the material handling is very much easier for less number of jobs as the number of jobs increases you know the material handling becomes complicated also is in this case of job shop production systems you the uh, cost of the product which get generated due to this system we will go on higher side the production cost will go on higher side as this particular type generated the less number of the jobs so you know it also affects the pricing of your end product so that's why the end product will have the higher cost as compared to that of the batch production system and mass production system also guys the material handling is very much easy for the less number of the jobs and it becomes complicated for the high amount of the jobs so that is the that's all about the job shop production system so in order to get the more quantity in order to uh, get the better cost in order to get a like a economical cost as compared to the market so you need to go to the batch production system in case of batch production system, the production occurs in batches in lots basically. So that particular uh, frequency of the batches and the frequency of the lot, it is decided by the customer. It is decided by, it is the customer who uh, who tells us ki this is the required amount of, uh, this is the required quantity for this particular batch. So over here the term which is used that is nothing but the economical batch size. So economical batch size, economical means econo it's economic to produce that particular amount of the product. So it is for basically suited for your production system also and basically suited for customer also as the customer is paying, paying for this, uh, your products and a customer is taking that products in bulk quantity in lots in batches. So that's why this is EBS, uh, yes, 
economical batch size EBS term is used over here in this case so in uh, this type of production system basically you know there is the sometimes it is semi skilled workers or else uh, unskilled labors are required over here in this case of batch production system the quantity generated over here in this type of production system it is more than that of your um, job shop production system the quantity generated is moderate over here in this case and the quality is as per the requirement of the customers as the customer is paying for this jobs and the customer is asking for the this amount particular amount of the quantities so that's why you know this particular quality is depends upon the customer's requirement now over here in this case of batch production system the automation is somewhat possible it depends upon the type of machineries we are importing uh, in your factory so it depends upon the automation is somewhat possible the product customization is also somewhat possible over here in case of job shop production system the product customization is we can uh, it was very easy but over here in job shop product uh, but over here in batch production system the product customization is you know is somewhat possible in this case so also if we talk about the maintaining of the flexibility it is also somewhat possible over here in this case of production system now as the quantity of the product increases you know the production cost also reduces so in batch production system the end product will have cost comparatively lesser than that of your job shop production system the material handling in batch production system is somewhat complicated than that of the job shop production system so also like maintaining of the inventories is also like it becomes uh, somewhat complicated as the your over year the quantity increases and the product variation increases so that's why you know the maintaining the inventories is also somewhat complicated over year in job uh, in in batch production system so guys moving ahead next uh, is nothing but the mass production system so over here in case of mass production system the quantity generated in bulk there are bulk quantities bulk quantities of products get produced over here in mass production system so that's why basically this mass production system is best suitable for the autom automotive industries and uh, where the continuous production is required basically so in automotive industries there are series of workstation and your product passes through that series of workstation that is a particular inline layout which is adopted by mass production system and in that layout there is a series of operation workstations and upon that workstation the different operations are carried out on that particular product the product uh, moves uh, straight that is the inline and if if suppose the uh, a particular one workstation malfunctions you know the entire process will get affected due to that so that is the disadvantages in mass production system you need to carry out the preventive and the breakdown maintenance of each workstations periodically over here in mass production system also in this mass production system the the optimization is too much uh, so that's why the initial setup cost is very much on the higher side you need to invest huge amount of money in order to uh, carry in order to implement this type of production process that is the mass production process in mass production system the quantity generated is on the higher side so that's why uh, the the quality gets affected somewhat the quality gets affected but it depends upon the product your optimization of the plant it also depends upon your process the adopted process so this is how we can say that over here this quality is gets affected due to the quantity but some uh, but it also depends upon the requirement of the customer the customer requirement of the customer in case of mass production system you know we can use uh, semi skilled labor as well as the unskilled labor over here because you know the whole of the plant is gets optimized you need the, there is no need of the high skill labor over here in this case of mass production system also over here in mass production system as the quantity increases so that's why you need to maintain the high amount of the inventory the material is handled material handling is very much easy as the material is flowing in line there is the in line flow so that's why material handling is very much easy in case of mass production systems also in a job shop production system we have seen the cost of the product will on higher side in batch production system the cost gets reduced and in the mass production system the cost of end product reduced considerably so over here the quantities produced are is uh, are very much on a higher side so that's why the cost of the end product the cost of the end product is considerably reduced over here in this case of mass production system so guys that was all about the three types of production system that is nothing but the job shop batch and mass production system 
So guys, uh, over here there is also another type of production system that is nothing but the process production system. So this type of the production system is best suited for oil and gas industries where a continuous production is required, where a continuous production is required for for uh, you know very less number of product variation. So over here it is best suitable for the refineries, oil and gas industries, cement plants. So these are process production process. So over here this uh, there is the continuous uh, continuous uh, production is there which is uh, very much on the larger side than that of the mass production system in mass production system we are producing the products but over here in we are producing the processes production of the different oil and gas products so that is uh, that uh, that uh, that falls under the category of the process production process so as over here in this case of the process production you need to have a high amount of the market risk you know there is a initial investment very much is on very much higher side the initial investment over here in this case is very much on the higher side as uh, as you need to import the you know high end machineries and also the optimization is very much necessary for this uh, type of uh, production process in order to understand this particular production process you need to understand the actual requirement of the mass uh, customer so over here in this case there is the mass requirement is required mass the requirement has to be there in bulk the mass requirement the requirement has to be there in masses so over here in this case of the process production the requirement has to be in huge amount so in over here in this case of process production that there is also a risk the product customization is you know is not possible there are through two to three products and uh, in the in the oil and gas industry that is your petrol is the another product your diesel is the another product uh, kerosene, naphtha. So these are the products. Uh, these are the oil and gas products which produces in a refinery, basically. So guys, over here in this video, we have seen the four types of production process. That is nothing but the chop shop production process, batch production process, mass production process, and process production. So guys, I hope you understood this four types of production process. And if you having any doubts and queries, and if you having any another point related to this production system, you can comment below. And guys, please. Uh, hit like and guys please do share all my videos on social networks your friends and your family so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy